Hi, welcome back to Emacs Rocks. It's episode 2 and today I have a real treat for you. Check it out. It's Wim Golf. Yeah. Wim Golf is really cool. I really wish there were one for Emacs. Um, it's a competition and the goal is to transform the starting file into the ending file in as few keystrokes as possible. So there's uh, this is challenge number six, and there's uh, one to ten in letters, and then there's one to ten in numbers, and the goal is to get one to ten lined up in two columns. So the best score in WIM is seventeen. It's the winning score. So let's see if uh, Emacs might do a little bit better. Okay, I'll run through it one time without commentary and then I'll run through it again and tell what I'm doing. So pay attention to the keystrokes. Haha, <laughs> now wasn't that awesome? <laughs> Let's see it again in slow motion. Okay, now we're back at the start. Um, this is the first episode where I use macros, but it won't be the last. Macros is a powerhouse in Emacs. So I start by defining a macro pressing F3. Then I jump to the bottom and I delete word. This puts it into the kill ring and uh, I erase the space and then I press control 9. Control 9 doesn't do anything on its own but it makes my next command repeat 9 times which is command P for previous line 9 lines up. Control E, tab yank and my macro is finished so I press F4 to complete my macro and now I can run that macro nine times with control 9 F4 done and uh, that was 12 keystrokes let me remind you best in whim 17 so to reiterate Emacs rocks <laughs> 